Is your fat ass still keeping up with your New Year's resolutions? I got on your all last year, but mind the damn tea, you didn't want it. Your ass sat down all holiday season. You ate up all the damn Thanksgiving food. Then you circled your big ass back around and ate up all the damn Christmas food. Now it's January. Your ass done went down there and paid your little $19.99 membership at LA Fitness. I bet your ass ain't even went down there and worked out once. I'm, I'm tired. I'm just going. I'm tired of your ass. Okay? This is easier than working out. All you have to do is click the link, purchase the damn product, drink the damn tea and shit. That's all you got to do. Bye. Child, Nikki Gilbert yo, took her ass down to the cold house and then filed a lawsuit against them stars and them P Valley people talking about they ripped off her idea from some damn DVD she did back in the day and then mama want her damages. Mama said she wants some understanding, bitch, and she ain't gonna leave the cold house until she get it. Y'all wanna talk about it? Here it go. Hey. Now listen, Nessa girl, I know you probably looking at me like, girl, why is you calling my line with this bullshit? Because that's the same way I felt when the T hit my phone. I was laying in my bed the other night. What was I doing, Nessa girl? Minding my business like I always do. I mean, and it was 8.15 when I got this telegram. I was minding my business real good. Real good. This was the night before the story broke on the blogs. And I get a link from a friend that says, Stars P. Valley slapped with lawsuit accused of ripping off play about strip club. I arbitrarily just wrote back, child. I didn't even bother reading it. I had no interest in reading it. Now, I didn't know who was filing the lawsuit, who was involved in the lawsuit, or nothing. Just follow me here. I remember when P. Valley first came out. And y'all remember, y'all was telling me, ooh, don't even watch it, 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 watch it. I was like, why, why they keep bothering me about this damn shit? Watch it. And when I started watching it, I couldn't stop watching it, watching it, watching it, and watching it. But I also remember that, you know, a lot of people kept praising Katoria Hall and that they were saying that this woman went around and she interviewed, you know, hundreds of dancers and got their stories. And then I remember thinking to myself, you know, she must have done this because the nuance of the character and how, you know, she made them human, you know, in the show was just really good. And I was I didn't didn't know who this Katoria Hall person was at the time. But I was like, all right, you know, we got Issa Rae, we got Shonda Rhimes, Ava DuVernay. Now we got Katoria Hall coming up, whoever she is. But I, I'm rooting for her. And then I, I started doing a little more understanding. And y'all was talking to me and was saying, oh, yeah, you know, the show was based off of a play that they had did a stage play. And then they turned it into a movie. So I'm like, OK, cool. Like, all right. So, again, I still was not interested in reading the article because as far as I was concerned, I knew everything that I needed to know to say that whoever the hell this is that found this lawsuit is just full of shit and they bored and they hating. That is how I felt. Then I got a phone call from a mutual friend of Nikki Gilbert and I from Atlanta. And she was like, child, did you see um, did you see the thing going on with Nikki? I said, girl, I know what? And she said, oh, you didn't see the article? I said, no, she said about the lawsuit with stars. I said, oh, somebody sent me that. That's about Nikki. So I click it. And then it was like, you know, Nikki, Nikki Gilbert Daniels files suit in Georgia, citing that, you know, copyright infringement and that she many years ago pitched her uh, DVD musical Soul Kittens Cabaret to Liongate's film and, and this other person and other person and that they all loved it and that it was a very similar concept about a gender fluid club owner uh, in the midst of you know getting ready to lose the club so on and so forth and that they really liked it they were really interested in the idea and then you know she heard nothing else from them and then fast forward Years later, bam, P Valley. And so, you know, much like 
the rest of y'all just preliminarily that just wasn't enough for me you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna lie to you my gut response was Nikki need to go sit her damn ass down somewhere here she go again here she here here she go again she always in some legal shit with the network she had the drama going on with the R&B Divas folks over there at TV One, so on and so forth. Now she got this going on, coupled with the fact that, you know, Nikki Gilbert, based on how she was portrayed on R&B Divas, people just don't like her. So I was thinking to myself when this came out, I was like, ooh, this is not going to, this is not going to pan out well for Nikki in the media. Um, just simply based on her past experiences, past reputation, what people have already formed in their head about Nikki. I mean, y'all remember them R&B Divas days. I used to wear Nikki Gilbert ass out. However, they was portraying that woman on that TV. That thing irked my soul. It, 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 it irked my soul down to my bone marrow, baby. But I'm here to tell y'all, since that time, me and Nikki Gilbert, we are cool. I run into Nikki Gilbert occasionally. I talk to Nikki Gilbert occasionally. I think the last time I physically laid eyes on her was down to the Essence Festival or whatever. And we sang a little bit. I, I put it in my little vlog. Go check out my Essence Festival vlog. Nevertheless, nevertheless, me and Nikki Gilbert are good. But I'm just thinking to myself, okay, you know, this, this is just not good for Nikki. Um, and I still... Nah, you, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on the fence. I'm like, you know, if the lady say the stuff was her stuff and she want to file suit, I mean, this is America. She has the right to do so. So the smoking gun for me was said friend um, went on to share with me that there is a video out there. And this is the part of the reason why I felt compelled to make this video. Because... I read the comments on The Shade Room uh, and on some of the other Jasmine Brand and Neighborhood Talk and some of the other sites, you know, and, and the people are having the same gut reaction that I had. Nikki need to go sit her goddamn ass down. Here she go again, yada, yada, yada. But the thing that struck a chord with me was The Shade Room, they took a clip from her Soul Kittens Cabaret DVD. And in the clip, Faith Evans is sitting on the counter singing and four girls are dancing on the stage. And it honestly, it looked very... Boys and Girls Club, YMCA, you know, church nativity scene play. It was just very, you know, starter Tyler Perry. It, you know, when he was sleeping in the car. That's what it was given. And then they show the scene of Mississippi dancing around the pole, just killing it. So anybody who's look would, would look at these two clips would, would honestly say, there's no way in hell that, that anybody of sound mind would think that these two projects were the same. So I felt compelled to do this video because I was a, I'm privy to a bit more information than the general public was. And I think it's only fair that I share it. So, you know, said friend and I continue talking and what got my attention and got me to thinking opposite of Nikki go sit your ass down somewhere is that said friend shared with me that there is a video that she has put her eyes on that was compiled by Nikki's side of the aisle where there are uh, scenes and verbiage that are, are damn near identical. And from my understanding, the video is 40 minutes long of scenes from P-Valley, scenes from her script or from her play. I don't quote me on which one it is, where from what I've been told are damn near absolutely identical and, and too close to be coincidental. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm now battling this piece of information I've been given with. But Katoria Hall went around and interviewed a hundred and something people about P Valley that that like this this is just this is just this can't be. And 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 and, and if it is, then how did it happen? Did did the people that Nikki originally pitched the idea to 
you know, did 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 Katoria pitch a similar idea and then, you know, they added in some input that might have been from Nikki's and then she ran off with it and expounded upon it. At this point, I'm trying to make it all make sense. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still I'm, I'm still just not. It's just a hard thing for me to process. And then 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 my rational mind starts kicking in. I'm like, OK, well, stars is a very big entity. And I'm like, you know, for an attorney and for Nikki to take on the financial uh, burden of going up against stars, a company that has a whole floor, I'm sure, of attorneys on payroll. That attorney would be a damn fool to risk their reputation and waste their time if they did not feel that there was some type of case here. So then I got to I had to sit up because, you know, my, my brain got to work in hand and I had to start researching and I had to start, you know, making phone calls and I had to start digging around and just figure out what all the hell is going on here. Here's something else that I found that may or may not be of any value to you guys, but it's what made me say it gave me pause. The woman that Nikki Gilbert used in her play Soul Kittens Cabaret as the lead character is the same woman that Katoria Hall booked as the lead character in one of her stage plays. Um, and don't quote me, it might have been the Pussy Valley stage play. May have, I think it was. Don't quote me, but I think it was. And that right there is when I said, okay, okay, we might be cooking with some fire here. So let me repeat that. The woman who Nikki Gilbert cast as the lead character in Soul Kittens Cabaret was the woman who was cast as the lead character into Katoria Hall's stage play. And so now I'm like, okay, bitch, I got to sit up now because now that removes all traces of it's no way possible that Katoria is slightly familiar with Soul Kittens Cabaret. Now listen, and then let's be clear here. I by no means am implying that that woman bit that lady's work. What I am saying is when you cast somebody to be the lead character in your stage play, you definitely check that person's resume to see what other works they've done. You might have clicked the link, watched the snippet, seen the little pieces of something or another. So that piece of information, coupled with the fact that there's a video out there that's not being shown in the public, I don't know if the public has access to it, of there being comparisons between P Valley and Nikki Gilbert's production, it, it left me wanting to say this, y'all, because I see the way that people are eating up Nikki. Just let the lady have her day in court. Reserve judgment the same way y'all wanted to do for R. Kelly and Bill Cosby and everybody else. Reserve judgment and let the court handle it. You know what I'm saying? I um again I am stuck on the fact that Nikki found attorneys that felt confident enough to take this case on. That says something. Now what it says in its entirety, I can't say. But that says something for this woman to take on the financial, you know, cost of going up against stars. That says something. Now, some of y'all might argue and say the bitch crazy and it just might say that. But I say let the lady have her damn court and um, let the chips fall where they fall. Because one thing about it and two things for sure, you know, when you go to court and you have to go through the discovery process. All of it has to be laid out on the table and all the relationships and links and dots have to be connected and the lawyers are going to do what it is they do. Um, if they did bite this lady's work, I would be curious to know 
what it is she wants from them. You know, I would imagine a dollar amount. I mean, that that's the obvious. Um, I, I, I don't imagine at this point you get any type of uh, credit or title on a show that's already in existence or whatever the case may be. But again, like I said, the lady attorneys took on the case. Katoria Hall casted the same lead character in her play that Nikki casted in her play. Um, not to mention, you know, Nikki feels confident that, you know, there are a lot of similarities in her, in her play, including, you know, the gender fluid club owner in Nikki's play. His name is Tata Burlesque and P Valley is Uncle Clifford, along with a slew of other similarities that from what I have been told are too close for comfort for it not to be some type of infringement or whatever. So coupled with those things, I'm like, okay, the lady just may have a case. So all we can do y'all is sit back and let this thing play out in court. And that's all I urge y'all to do before y'all eat the lady up alive. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. I'm be sure to call y'all bite later on today because I'm feeling very expressive and there's a lot of things going on in the world of celebrity gossip and entertainment that we need to talk about. I'll call y'all later. Bye.